Now, I'm speaking to Marion McCarthy and James Northridge. Uh, we're speaking about teaching for understanding and universal design for learning. And Marion, the question I want to ask you initially is, how can teaching for understanding inform universal design for learning? Great, James. A very good question. Um, well, when you think of teaching for understanding, uh, I think, and, and James, I'm sure we would have talked of this before, that really you're talking about how we're going to teach so that the students understand. Mm -hmm. And there isn't a teacher in the world who doesn't want the student to understand. That is ult the ultimate goal, that the learning could be many forms of learning. For, for example, we have rote learning, but learning for understanding is a different kind of learning. So the, if you like, the, the whole assumption behind teaching for understanding is, of course, that the student is involved in the learning. So, for example, that's why the heart of TFU is about the performance view of understanding, that in the doing is the understanding. Uh, it's an active learning uh, paradigm. Uh, but, of course, for the students to actively learn, we have to draw on their strengths. So, of course, TFU takes you immediately to multiple intelligences theory, which tells us that students learn in different ways. We have at least eight intelligences which we bring to bear on any problem-solving situation. Now, where this intersects then, where TFU and MI intersect, is that, of course, in the performances in an active learning paradigm, the teacher would construct the learning so that the students draw on all of the intelligences. Some intelligences, as we saw in James' performances earlier this morning, are um, you know, work more on the visual, others on the linguistic, others more on the experiential. So a good teacher will draw on all the intelligences and entry points to learning to give a total holistic experience, um, you know, to the students. And so that all students are equally involved and that they have an equal chance of learning. Now, where this links to universal design for learning is that the three principles of UDL, if you like, complement um, TFU because for example, uh, the key principle um, is, first of all, the multiple ways of engagement. We must be able to engage and motivate our learners. Now, you are not going to motivate and engage them if you are not speaking to their particular intelligence. Now, that's not to say that they won't learn. You know, if you're teaching them mathematics and their strength is in language, you must still teach them mathematics. But you can use their strength in language, let's say, and in the visual spatial, to build uh, their strengths in mathematics. So, in other words, to engage, so the UDL principle of engagement is predicated on the fact that we must engage the learner by using his intelligence's strengths um, and by using, in that sense, the full um, paradigm of intelligence before you. So when you think like the affective networks, UDL, um, that particular um, principle, the principle about engagement is of course goes to the heart of the brain. So it's the affective networks and uh, you, you want to activate those. Um, now equally then TFU uh, also gives us, if you like, uh, a guide as to how to engage uh, the students uh, in the other two principles because for example when it says uh, and when we think about the networks at the back of the brain uh, and we're thinking of the recognition networks then the what of learning well we have to accept as teachers that we must represent knowledge in different ways now again let's say looking at MI and, and TFU these provide a great roadmap for how you do that if you're going to represent knowledge in different ways you can't just lecture you must, for example, perhaps, you might show video clips, uh, you might, and James has some great examples of that that he might talk of in a moment. Um, you might uh, use a podcast, um, you might get them to draw something and so on. So therefore, uh, I find that the entry points to learning from MI, because it would talk of, you know, you might go in narrationally, you might open up the learning experientially, aesthetically, foundationally, that these are all ways of, of helping us to think about, well, how will we do the UDL when we say we want multiple ways of recognition? What does that look like? How do we do that? Um, and then finally, on the, the third UDL principle, though not in any order as such, um, is, is the one about multiple ways of action and expression. And again, UDL primarily speaks of action in terms of performance. 
in the doing of understanding. And action, of course, is very much as well an ethical word. When you take action, you take responsibility. So it's about being a good citizen as well as a good student. So we want our students, um, UDL advises us to, to, to give them multiple ways of action so that again they, they, they can flourish and grow. Um, and again, they, they will do that in different ways depending on their intelligence strengths. And then finally, multiple ways of action and expression. I love the word expression because it's a very positive word and it's a word about the voice and about them owning it uh, themselves. You know, but you don't think of sitting a terminal exam as expressing yourself. You think of nearly having a nervous breakdown or certainly, uh, you know, you're, you're stressed. Um, but when you express yourself, let's say when you make a presentation, this is you speaking. You know, uh, when you present with a group in a group project, again, uh, this is about what the group thinks. So therefore, you know, when we think of paralleling TFU and UDL, we think about the various ways that we have um, advocated for understanding and given our students agency as the learner who is understanding and showing that understanding by the fact that they're able to represent things in various ways. Um, so I think, you know, that's the, the key thing. UDL is a wonderful way of, I mean, if, if we teach to the UDL principles, we will teach well. Equally, I would say, just, they're just two sides of the one coin. TFU and MI just give you a little, if you like, they're like signposts on the road, I'd say, James, yes, to, uh, to help. So that, that's my take on it, James. Yeah. Thank you.